Thank you, Aaron, for the introduction and welcome everyone. Hello, my name is Dave Bass and I'm a senior field application scientist with Perkin Elmer and I'm very excited to present to you today. In today's talk, I will discuss how atomic absorption is still a workhorse and demonstrate how flame and furnace are viable and complementary solutions for inorganic analysis. Let's start the discussion with an overview of our inorganic product family. The Pinnacle 500 is designed to be essentially a flame only instrument, while the Pinnacle 900 provides multiple combinations of both flame and or furnace. For ICP OAS analysis, we have both the Avio 200 and 500. Both are vertical plasma oriented instruments with flat plate technology. The 200 is a hybrid instrument, while the 500 is truly simultaneous. For ICPMS analysis, the Nexian 1000 and 2000 are essentially the same instrument, except the 1000 has only one gas channel available, while the 2000 has three gas channels available. Both incorporate a revolutionary 34 megahertz solid state generator, luma coil technology, triple cone interface with quadrupole ion deflector, and universal cell technology allowing for both collision and true reaction mode in the same method. The 5000 is our most recent addition to the portfolio and is the industry's first multi-quadrupole instrument. As a result, we are very excited about the application potential for this instrument moving forward. If you happen to be interested in any of our ICP OES or MS offerings, please feel free to reach out for additional information. However, today's focus will be on atomic absorption. These would comprise the typical questions you would ask to determine the best analytical solution, such as how many elements you need to analyze, what quantitation levels are required, how many samples are there, is it just a few or a handful or maybe several hours worth, how often do you need or plan to analyze, and how much sample do you have available? For example, Lead in blood became a very popular graphite furnace application considering the limited sample quantity usually encountered and the required level of detection. Here we see the optical system from a model 303 manufactured way back in 1963. In AA, the traditional design has been the use of optical mirrors with a rotating chopper most often employed to modulate between the sample and reference beams in a double beam design system. Keep in mind the basic instrument design must include a light source, an atomizer, a monochromator to isolate the desired wavelength, and a detector. In flame AA, the atomizer component is a burner head, while in furnace mode it becomes a graphite tube. The use of multiple mirrored services will decrease the amount of available light, which will require periodic replacement, cleaning, and maintenance to maintain a satisfactory level of light. So the consideration of alternate materials and design could be beneficiary to overall performance. Although a significant portion of the market has migrated over time for a variety of reasons to the optical ICP and ICPMS techniques, there is still a significant portion that utilizes AA routinely for their analysis. And for that reason, we strive to innovate and make improvements. The Pinnacle 500 introduced in 2015 as a direct replacement for the former Analyst 200 and 400 series instruments, incorporates touchscreen technology, producing a more vivid visual display with software that is modeled from our Syngisics platform that incorporates an onboard computer, thereby eliminating the requirement for an external PC. The Pinnacle 900 is available in multiple configurations, ranging from automated flame only to a combination of flame and furnace in a more traditional configuration with an external PC, mouse, and keyboard. Let's review what makes Flame AA such a powerful analytical technique. The concept of element specificity, that is only measuring the element associated with the lamp is critical here, providing you have the instrument set up correctly with the proper lamp current and corresponding slit for the selected wavelength. Although there are other techniques that produce a lower detection limit, we can accurately quantitate from the PPB up to PPM levels with good accuracy and precision. The analysis is typically quite fast and as a result is often accomplished without the use of an auto sampler with manual sampling. 
A typical analysis of multiple replicates requires less than 10 seconds. Additionally, the Flame Cookbook is an extremely valuable reference guide documenting the various interferences that an analyst may encounter, thereby eliminating the need for lengthy method development, another key parameter to consider. Lastly, it is relatively simple to operate and has a low initial investment and operating cost compared to the other inorganic techniques available. Here is an example for copper from the Flame Cookbook. Most of this information is also provided in the instrument software, but the printed manual is more comprehensive and also contains additional information such as selected methods that may be specific to your application needs. Valuable information indicating available wavelengths with corresponding slit, expected sensitivity based on the characteristic concentration value, the approximate linear range based on default operating conditions, and information regarding potential chemical and ionization interferences with the use of required buffers is also provided. Without question, this is the ultimate go-to reference for plain AA analysis. The migration to a fiber optic design eliminates the customary maintenance associated with degradation of mirrors since the fiber optics don't get dirty, enhancing the light throughput resulting in a higher energy number and enables instrument design with a smaller footprint maximizing the available space. We have seen an overall migration to solid state detectors from the more traditional PMTs, ultimately improving the signal to noise ratio. These two technological advances work together in concert to produce enhanced overall performance. Shown here is a photo of a solid state detector used in the Pinnacle series of instruments. The job of the detector is to convert light energy to electrical energy. The amount of light reaching the detector is expressed in units based on the type of detector used. The higher the energy, the more light reaching the detector. For AA analysis, we want a detector that can take advantage of the increased light throughput provided with fiber optic technology, resulting in an improved signal to noise ratio, has high efficiency in the lower UV range, especially for elements such as arsenic and selenium for hydride or graphite furnace analysis, and exhibits good efficiency over the entire wavelength range for high wavelength elements such as sodium and potassium, which are often common elements in many flame analyses. This is what the Pinnacle 500 visibly looks like with its associated features, such as the use of fiber optic technology, coated lumina lamps that are available in four total positions, a more modern nebulizer and mixing chamber design, corrosion resistant construction, the use of the touchscreen that can mount on either the left or the right side and the smallest footprint available. Now let's take a look at some of these features more closely. Real-time double beaming improves precision even further over traditionally designed systems using a sample and reference beam to account for short-term lamp intensity fluctuation. I have already discussed the benefits of fiber optic technology as it relates to improved light throughput. So what is a conformal coating and how does that enhance corrosion resistance? It, by definition, is a protective coating or polymer film typically about 50 microns thick that conforms to the circuit board to protect the electronic circuits from moisture or harsh environments such as acid fumes. Since these instruments are often placed in locations close to manufacturing processes and removed from a typical laboratory setting. To add to this concept of corrosion resistivity, the flame shield is coated, the burner head is constructed of solid titanium and the spray chamber and end cap were also constructed of polymeric materials. Note the enhanced sensitivity and precision associated with the high sensitivity nebulizer. Remember, the interface consists of an internal PC with color touchscreen, although an external keyboard and mouse can be added for convenience if desired. Since a coated hollow cathode lamp provides automatic instrument recognition with the recommended current, this eliminates a potential source of operator error. While it is possible to use an older, non-coated lamp, that information has to be manually entered. Notice we provide capability for both hollow cathode and two electrodeless discharge lamps, although we typically are able to use hollow cathode lamps almost exclusively for flame analysis. 
special consideration should be given before using a multi-element lamp as analytical complications may result. Although often employed for convenience, the intensity of emission for an element in a multi-element lamp is not as great as that which is observed in a single element lamp. This loss of intensity could be a disadvantage in applications where high precision or low detection limits are required. The increased spectral complexity of multi-element lamps may require that alternate wavelengths or narrower slits be used, which may also adversely affect sensitivity or increase inherent baseline noise. Consult the Flame Cookbook for specific information and make an informed decision. Safety is always an important consideration, and we have incorporated several interlocks in the instrument, including the burner head, nebulizer, and system drain to accomplish this. Additionally, we have removed the external gas connections for the air and acetylene that was present on older systems, eliminating possible leakage or component wear. The advanced modular design also enables the operator to remove and replace quickly in cases where separate burner systems with different components might be desired or advantageous. Consideration should be given to the nebulizer selection process. In order to provide efficient nebulization for a variety of sample types, more than one choice is required. The stainless steel has been the most commonly used material for construction of the nebulizer. Stainless steel has the advantage of durability, low cost, and works well with the reduced uptake rate associated with organic solvents, but has the disadvantage of being susceptible to corrosion from samples with a high content of acid or other corrosive reagents that could attack or degrade the capillary needle or venturi, creating analytical issues for elements such as nickel or chromium. Samples with high dissolved solids can cause pitting and unwanted rapid degradation as well. For such cases, nebulizers constructed of a corrosion resistant material, such as an inert plastic, platinum alloys, or tantalum should be used to cover the widest range of applications and associated quantitation levels. The instrument can be ordered with either nebulizer as there are two separate part numbers. The 10 centimeter head is the most commonly used for air acetylene analysis and as such ships as standard with the instrument. But we also need to provide a 5 centimeter head for those elements requiring a nitrous oxide flame to achieve those higher temperatures required to form a ground state atom for accurate measurement, such as aluminum, boron, barium, vanadium, and silicon. The information indicating those elements can be found in the flame cookbook or the recommended conditions in the software and also incorporated in the default methods provided with the instrument. The instrument interlock system will not allow a nitrous oxide designated element to be analyzed with the standard air acetylene head for safety considerations. As an example, here are some detection limits obtained to provide a frame of reference as an indication of the enhanced signal to noise provided with the newer design, showing examples in the geochemical and environmental areas. There are two choices of software available for the Pinnacle 500. On the left, you see what we refer to as the touch version, and on the right, the full Syngistics version. Let's take a closer look at the features and any differences between the two versions available. As you can see, if you want to add FIAS or fast flame support, this will require the full version of Syngistics in order to accomplish this. Also, if you want to perform a multi-element sequential analysis, it requires the full version. Data reprocessing requires the full version of Syngistics to accomplish this. And lastly, if you want to preheat your lamps or have the ability to recall and edit calibrations, it will require the full version as well. Here we see a screen capture of the recommended conditions and synergistics reflecting the choice of nebulizers. Notice the information changes based on the nebulizer selected as the high sensitivity version provides greater absorbance than the more traditional stainless steel version while the category information still mimics the flame cookbook. 
any additional pertinent information, such as potential chemical or ionization interferences or any other analytical considerations will be contained in the remarks section. To demonstrate how easy and intuitive the touch version is, here's the first screen you'll encounter. You start by choosing the element from the periodic chart you wish to analyze. Next, you choose the method you want to launch. It can either be new by clicking the appropriate button on the upper right and starting from recommended default conditions or from the list that has already been created and stored for future use. Next, you would click on the Analyze button and start the analysis by depressing the appropriate button in the bottom portion of the screen, depending on whether you're in manual mode or incorporating an accessory such as an auto sampler. Let's take a look at the variety of information provided. Note the calibration curve display in the upper right with its corresponding correlation coefficient providing immediate feedback on the validity of the calibration curve. The status panel then indicates the method currently in use. A sample information file if previously created and stored and the name of the result set data is being stored in. Also notice the result window providing the progression of the entire run, including replicate readings. Note the sample IDs can also be entered individually in the bottom right if desired. And that's all there is to it. Three clicks from setup to analysis and an intuitive, informative, and easy to use interface. Although the data can always be stored in the database manager using Microsoft Access, printing to provide a hard copy of the analysis is always an option, but not necessarily required. Now, let's take a brief look at the full version of Synjistics for AA. But first, a bit of history. Synjistics replaces the older WinLab software that had a generic toolbar at the top of the screen with menu headings and selectable items below in that design. The newer design now mimics Synjistics for our other inorganic products as well to provide continuity, consistency, and minimize the software learning time along with providing Windows 10 compatibility. The concept organizes the appropriate windows under the four main categories, instrument, analysis, results, and utilities, replacing the toolbar with a ribbon design similar to Microsoft Outlook. You proceed from each category in a left to right manner in the same way that you would read a book. In the screen capture above, note the calibration and result groups with their associated icons under the result category. Many of the windows in the newer Synjistics platform were incorporated from the older WinLab were applicable for the same reasons mentioned above. Here we see the instrument and method editor tabs, for example. In the instrument tab, we see the indicated oxidant, flows of the individual gases, and an indication that the safety interlocks have been fulfilled as indicated by the green check. In the method editor, you will see there are pages at the top in corresponding tabs to the right that encompass the required entries in a method, such as the desired wavelength and slit as entered on the spectrometer page. Here, we see the calibration page where the number and concentration of standards are indicated. We also provide a full QC section where items such as an initial and continuing calibration blank and an initial and continuing calibration to verification standards are entered. And then lastly, we have an options page with other entries as well. Here we see the various windows that can be displayed in the viewing area with the status panel on the right hand side. Shown here are the method editor, calibration display, sample information editor, which contains the unique ID and other applicable sample information, and the data viewer, which is a cross tab display of the entire analytical run for easy viewing. This data can also be easily transported to Excel if desired. These windows can be arranged, sized, and saved as a workspace, eliminating the need to perform this process each time. 
These are the possible accessories that can be added, such as an auto sampler, to provide automation of the entire analytical process with various corrosion resistant available racks to accommodate different size bottles, such as 15 or 50 milliliters, to determine the overall number of available locations based on the number of samples. We can also link stored methods in a sequential run with this capability with the full Synjistics version of software. A FIOS system of either one or two pumps can be interfaced with the instrument to provide enhanced detection limits for mercury by cold vapor analysis or the true hydride forming elements as well. Other potential productivity enhancements for flame AA analysis can utilize the PREP2 system where calibration standards can be prepared from stock solutions and overrain samples can be triggered and automatically diluted as well. The system accomplishes this by utilizing a parasaltic pump with two channels, one for the sample and the other with diluent that can be operated independently at various speeds based on the nebulizer uptake rate. For the ultimate in productivity, we can add fast technology as well to create fast flame capability which will significantly decrease the overall runtime. To summarize, the Pinnacle 500 can provide enhanced analytical benefits with the newer design technology and is configurable to accommodate your desired level of automation and speed. You can analyze manually with a standalone auto sampler or in enhanced mode with AA prep or fast flame technology. What about the requirement or the desire for more automated flame and or graphite furnace analysis? Then you should consider the Pinnacle 900 series of instruments. Now let's take a more focused look at one of the parameters from the decision matrix discussed earlier, namely in the expected detection limit ranges. ICP OES is faster than flame since it's inherently a multi-element technique which can be a hybrid or truly simultaneous system with superior detection limit capability and as such is quite often the next instrument in the analytical progression from Flame AA. Notice, however, that Graphite Furnace is the closest technique to ICPMS detection limits. Here are the features of the Pinnacle 900 and note that many were incorporated into the design of the Pinnacle 500 as well. With graphite furnace capability and the consideration analysis requires more time compared to flame AA, we have increased lamp capacity to accommodate the potential desire to analyze methods sequentially linked in an unattended manner. The total number is now eight, two of which can be EDLs. The software will shut down the recirculator, stop the flow of argon automatically, and can be programmed to turn off the lamp when completed as well. Electrolytic discharge lamps are typically much more intense and, in many cases, more sensitive than the comparable hollow cathode lamp as the light is generated by a different source than the sputtering process typically employed. They therefore offer the analytical advantages of better precision and lower detection limits where an analysis is intensity limited. In the example shown, you can see the enhanced linearity and sensitivity of the EDL lamp for arsenic and selenium. In addition to providing superior performance, the useful lifetime of an EDL is typically much greater than that of a hollow cathode lamp for the corresponding element. We primarily use EDL lamps for graphite furnace analysis with arsenic and selenium as the two most common. They also require a separate driver with cable and require a longer warm-up time. These are the current options available under the Pinnacle 900 series of instruments. Let's start with the Pinnacle 900F. It is a flame-only instrument that offers enhanced automation beyond that of the Pinnacle 500. We have two combinations of flame and furnace available. We have the Pinnacle 900H, which is an HGA furnace with deuterium background correction with the optional two-camera view. We have the Pinnacle 900T, which is a THGA furnace design with Zeeman background correction where the two-view camera is standard. And lastly, if you want a furnace only system, we have the 900Z, which is a THEA system with Zeeman background correction with the two view as standard. 
the AS900 automatically shifts with any model that includes graphite furnace and all models are controlled by an external PC with Synjistic software. The Pinnacle 900H and 900T respectively replace the former Analyst 700 and 800 systems, eliminating the moving flame and furnace modules and was redesigned into a stacked orientation, allowing us to simplify the design by removing unnecessary components into a more vertical, smaller footprint. Once the furnace is aligned, there's no need to move it and can remain in a stationary position. The flame module does move and can be optimized, which will be seen shortly. There is a removable plastic cover that sits on top of the furnace module for protection when flame AA mode is being utilized. Here you can see a basic diagram of the optical system for the Pinnacle 900T. Note the movable mirror that automatically aligns the lamp, the fiber coupler that replaces the chopper mirror used in older designs, and the stack design mentioned in the previous slide. Flame AA analysis operates in real time double beam mode. Graphite furnace allows analysis in single beam mode with incorporation of BOC or baseline offset correction and Zeeman correction which accurately measures both analyte and background using the same hollow cathode or EDL lamp, which directs all available lights at the sample beam going through the graphite tube, enhancing overall performance. Here is a more detailed image of the flame compartment. This picture shows the eight lamp holder filled with Perkinomer Lumina hollow cathode lamps in positions three through eight. If you prefer to use an EDL, the power supplies are already built in. So no external power supply is required for this, just the driver that provides the connection to the instrument. Lamp setup is also automatic, just like the Pinnacle 500. So just insert the coated lumina lamp, shut the door, and the instrument does the rest, automatically aligning the lamp for maximum throughput and setting the wavelength and slit as specified in the method. Older non-coated lamps can be used as well, but first have to be defined in the Align Lamps window of the Synjistic software, but the alignment is still automatic. Note, the option to pre-warm a lamp is available. The Pinnacle 900H is equipped with a Massman type longitudinally heated graphite furnace with deuterium background correction. The 900T and 900Z are equipped with a transversely heated graphite furnace with longitudinal Zeeman effect background correction. This allows the user to choose the graphite furnace system that best meets their requirements and budgets. For example, if the only graphite furnace need was the determination of lead in drinking water, then the 900H would be acceptable since the sample matrix should be simple with low expected background. However, if this included the determination of lead in more complex matrices, such as wastewater or sludge, then the Pinnacle 900T or Z with Zeeman effect background correction would be the best choice since Zeeman can accurately correct for higher levels and structured background as well. Both systems use graphite tubes with integrated platforms which provide improved performance and allow a full implementation of stabilized platform furnace technology which provide near interference free graphite furnace analyses. There is no simpler graphite furnace available than the THGA only one tube, no alignment required after insertion of a new tube, no insertion of a platform at all, along with pneumatic opening and closing of the furnace for increased reliability for some of the features that guarantee ease of use. The THDA graphite furnace provides exceptional detection limits for volatile through refractory elements, an optional end cap tube designed for volatile and medium volatile elements to lower the detection limit even further. Reduced interferences due to a constant isothermal temperature over the whole tube length, eliminating the cool lens compared to the HGA design, reducing memory, and longitudinal Zeeman background correction that allows for the removal of the polarizer and restores a significant amount of available light. That, coupled with the advantages of fiber optic technology, allows for greater use of hollow cathode lamps compared to older systems. However, EDLs are still available if desired. Historically, one of the biggest challenges for the customer is aligning the tip of the probe into the graphite furnace. 
This has been greatly simplified with the tube view camera. You simply select it in the software from the furnace control window and it launches the auto sampler alignment tip wizard. You follow the instructions, scroll through the screens to eventually save the position, and that's all there is to it. Ensuring proper alignment is critical in maintaining precision and reproducibility for graphite furnace analyses. Just as important, the camera also allows viewing of the droplet deposition and observation of the drying profile to assist in optimizing that parameter, which is critical but frequently overlooked. Poor drying will adversely affect data quality and prematurely degrade tube life. This will also provide information on whether matrix material is beginning to accumulate on the platform as the analysis proceeds. The Pinnacle 900 series instruments represent not only the ultimate in ease of use and operating convenience with respect to hardware, but the Synjistic software takes these concepts further and applies them to the whole system. Clear, easy to use control windows allow optimization and control of all the major instrumental parameters. The Pinnacle 900 with Synjistics will set these automatically when creating a new method, but the control windows allow you to make changes as necessary should you desire as part of the method development process. We also offer an enhanced security version of the software that provides 21 CFR 11 compliance for those customers that reside in regulated environments that require data compliance. Let's take a further look at some of the additional features provided with the Synjistic software, such as lamp usage monitoring, gas flow and burner head optimizations, the user interface and rapid system setup capability through the creation of workspaces. Shown here is a screen capture of the window that appears when clicking on the lamp information button in the lamp setup window. There is now a programmable chip in each lamp that records the total operating time the lamp has been in use, which replaces the meter used on previous lamp designs. This will allow a lamp to be easily used on multiple instruments since the information resides with the lamp itself and not with the instrument. This information can be highly beneficial as it allows a customer to evaluate long-term lamp performance by comparing the time in use with the acquired energy number. A gas flow optimization is initialized by clicking on the Optimize Gas Flows button found in the flame control window. Aspirate a blank as indicated in the instructions, then click on Auto Zero to establish the baseline. Aspirate the standard solution, specify the range of fuel flow to be tested, then to press the Optimize button. Allow the optimization to complete, then click the Finish button in the Optimization Wizard to record the fuel flow setting in the active method to create optimized, reproducible methods that can be element specific. It's that simple. The User Setup Program is designed as an application tool that allows for the creation of instrument users, assigning them to various groups with each group assigned a specific set of permissions, requirements for password length and duration with a summary page. Notice in the example above that the group labeled chemist is provided with a number of permissions. That group can allow atomizer optimization, allow database maintenance, edit calibration curves, and allow modifications of method and sample information files. However, they are not allowed to self-approve or reject files or data and they are not allowed to proceed with an analysis with an unapproved method. Note that the tabs Login History and Audit Trail are present and applicable only with the enhanced security software installed. The Burner Head Alignment Wizard provides for automatic vertical and horizontal positioning of the burner head in the light beam to ensure maximum sensitivity and that the burner head itself is not accidentally blocking light coming from the lamp. It utilizes a blind solution to set the vertical position and the known standard for the horizontal position. It is launched by depressing the Align Burner button and simply following the written instructions provided as you proceed through the screens. This provides a consistent, optimized burner head position. The AA Synjistic software provides a high degree of flexibility and control 
over your methods and analysis. But once your methods are created, along with your personal workspaces, you can easily recall individual screen arrangements of different windows, along with your method, sample information file, etc., and you are ready to start work. Unlimited numbers of workspaces can be created, allowing you to tailor AAE synergistics to not only yourself, but also your colleagues as well. This produces a high degree of usability not found in many competitive products. This provides analytical reliability with methods that are easily and quickly recalled, ease of operation and reduced training requirements, and reduced time spent in setting up the instrument with less errors. From the AA Synergistics opening screen, opening and selecting a workspace takes a total of two mouse clicks. What could be simpler? Compared to the Pinnacle 500, there are similar accessories available on the Pinnacle 900 series as well, with the added ability to perform FIAS furnace coupling if a graphite furnace is present. In summary, this technique implements an iridium-treated graphite tube to trap hydrides generated from a traditional FIAS system to perform hydride analysis. The advantages of this technique over the use of a quartz cell is that the activated graphite tube platform surface is more consistent, never requires hydrofluoric and aqua conditioning, and allows for continuous flow generation of hydrides to enhance the level of detection required. There are many application notes currently available, and we would encourage you to visit our website and view the available content. To further support our customers, we have created a series of videos of various topics centered around maintenance to make that information easy to obtain and an intuitive platform without having to read to the entire instrument manual. Our hope is that you find them both valuable and informative. In review, we offer a variety of models to fit your atomic absorption needs with updated software and designs to enhance performance at a smaller footprint accessories to provide multiple levels of automation, all supported by our world-class service, application scientists, and support staff. So yes, AA does remain a viable technique as part of the inorganic analysis platform and is still a workhorse. We thank you for attending and now we can take some questions.